Welcome back. Larry Falavino was diagnosed with ALS in 2017. In the summer, he is taking his awareness and fundraising efforts on the road with his family in an RV. He is visiting every Major League Baseball stadium in the country. Along the way, he's bringing local ALS patients with him to enjoy a baseball game and build community. Larry Falavina and Steph Atkins join me now. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. How did you decide on doing this? Well, you know, at the beginning of the year, I sat down and said, how do I want to say I spent 2019? And two things came to mind. I wanted to make memories with my family. I want to have an impact against ALS. And yeah. so we came up with the idea of going around the country and interviewing other people who'd been affected by ALS and telling their stories. I think people who are facing this disease are just doing it with, uh, with courage and with hope. And I think those can be inspirational stories for anyone. I remember years ago being involved with the Jerry Lewis Telethon and year after year we would talk about this and this is still such a difficult disease. Are we closer to finding some better ways to treat? Yeah, I think, you know, this summer is the five year anniversary of the Ice Bucket Challenge. I and remember that well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, we did it too and at the time yeah. I really didn't know what ALS is, but I think the funding, you know, that, that campaign raised $115 million and in the five years since that campaign, there's been incredible leaps forward in research for ALS. And so I think there's some promising things in the works right now. Well, our fingers are crossed about that. Um, you've met some pretty incredible people along the way, right? Definitely. Tell yes. me a little more. You know, I think the things uh, that really uh, got me about the folks who are facing this disease is that they all have such great attitudes. They're positive and they are hopeful. And I wanted to share those stories. Again, I, I think those can be stories that are inspirational for anyone because, you know, we're all facing something. Yes, indeed. Steph, tell us about your diagnosis because if I understand this, you have familial ALS, right? Which is slightly different and a little about fairly rare. About 10% percent of the cases are familial, which means that it's genetic related. My mother passed it on to me. And I was diagnosed only because my mother passed away of ALS. Wow. So I had symptoms since 2007. My mother passed away in 2010 after a very aggressive nine months. I am so sorry. And so I got diagnosed in 2011 and so confirmed my gene mutation in 2012. And so how is this treated? <laughs> treated. There is no specific treatment. Kind of yeah. yeah. So in my treatment is remove stress from my life and enjoy life. And that's how I think I've been able to live so long. How did you two get together in this effort? Go ahead. <laughs> you know, he's going the, the, around the, to the sports <laughs> fields. And <laughs> yeah, I, I think, um, you know, I've been reaching out to the local ALS chapters and mm -hmm. uh, the chapter here um, connected me and we're going to the game tonight. And that's kind of how it's been all along is that I tried to connect with someone uh, local to go to the game, right. interview them, tell their stories. And um, that's how we met. And so at the game, are there families and other folks who join you to help make this push? Uh, it's been my family and then, you know, again, folks who are, who are local going to the game with me. What do you hope comes out of this stuff? Awareness. Just awareness of the disease, awareness that more research needs to happen so yes. we could find a treatment. Yes, absolutely. Um, how are you guys doing all together in the RV? Uh, I think we're holding up pretty well. <laughs> my kids might have a different answer for you, but uh, it's been great. I mean, you know, it's, it's some long days, it's a lot of driving. Um, some days can be really tiring, but I think we're all inspired by what we're doing here and just trying to make a big impact. And so that's worth yeah. pushing through. Um, this is an anniversary also for Lou Gehrig's right. speech about having ALS, which is also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. How does that tie into your efforts? Well, I think that there's a connection, you know, between baseball and, uh, right. and ALS because of Lou Gehrig. And I think his story is really inspiring because, again, here was a man who was, you know, one of the greatest first basemen of all time. He was affected by this disease, but yet his speech, he talks about how he's the luckiest man. And I think it's that kind of attitude that just flows through all the people that I've met who've been affected by ALS. And so even 80 years ago, you know, he had that great attitude. Um, the unfortunate thing is that here we are 80 years later and still there's still no this. cure. Right. Exactly. And Steph, you won the Spirit of Lou Gehrig Award for your activities. Yeah. Explain how that works. Well, when I was diagnosed, after watching my mother pass away, I immediately turned around and said, how can I help? And so I contacted my local ALSA chapter, Evergreen chapter, and said, how can I help? They're like, well, what's your connection? 
oh, I have the disease, but you know, I'm here to help you and your fundraising and your caregiving mm -hmm. and your research. So I have been, you know, connected to the LSA chapter as well as other organizations that are helping the community. Is that the best place for us to go to the ALS chapter in our area to figure out how to help? It's a great connection to make. So it, it allows you to get support um, services. You could get um, medical equipment that you might need mm -hmm. as well as just a community to talk to. And that's important, correct? It is. If Emotional you, coping? Uh, you don't want to be alone in this disease. And our chapter allows us to not be alone. Well, you guys are doing, um, you're doing incredible work and you're bringing attention to something that desperately needs it. And we thank you both very much. Thank you for having us.